Hey everybody, it's Daryl back again. Uh, I'm gonna come out here and check on this hive right quick. The two that we split where they were about ready to swarm and I moved the box over beside the other one and uh, had that queen in the clip for two days and then let her out. Uh, you should have already seen that video, but if you haven't, when I checked it last time, the queen was gone. So we're gonna check and see if we've got a queen in there now, if not, we're gonna to have to either combine them with another hive if their numbers are low or give them a frame of brood. So stick around. Alrighty, I'm gonna put them over. I'll put y'all over to the side of the hive so maybe we can see what our son's gonna be doing. They sound awfully loud, so I'm guessing that they're going to be queenless. But we won't really know until we get in there. I'm putting my hood on. We got storms in the area, and this hive sounds queenless, so I don't mind getting stung as long as it's not in the face. What we're checking for is if they've got a queen. And if they don't, what our options are going to be. That's what the inner cover looks like. I think it's a good call on the uh, hood because they're, they're bumping my, my stuff. Two frames don't have anything on it. They've got some little faux queen cells made up. Where'd they go? Right there in the center of the frame. But if they don't have any eggs to put in them, then they're kind of for nothing. We've got a little bit of capped honey, a little bit of pollen, and it looks like we have eggs and larvae. So the big question is, do we have a laying queen? I don't know if y'all can see this or not. That's all we're gonna do is pick up the reflection off of the thing. Get y'all back over here. Go to a micro mode. Let's see. Right in the middle right here. Of course you can't see it because of the shadows, but there's eggs and larvae. And no seals. You have to take my word for it. There's some right in there, but you can't see it really. I don't see any double laid eggs, so I'm going to assume we don't have a laying worker because if we had a laying worker, then it'd be two, three, four eggs per cell. The only thing that's got me kind of worried is they're making those faux queen cells.
We got a lay-in queen. I'm pretty sure of it. It's just the fact of whether we can find her or not. She might be on over on a different frame. Let's see if y'all can see these. There's so many of them, maybe we'll be able to pick them up. I didn't uh, zoom out while I go, did I? That's the advantage of the black foundation, as you can see a little bit better, but you can kind of see the eggs in the bottom of that one, if those bees will move. Well, that's double laid right there, which could be a virgin queen. or a new queen. That's the only ones I've seen that's got the double eggs in it. And I'll try to point them out for you. As you can see, they're right there in the center of the screen. And those are the only ones I see that are double egg. Mm -hmm. No. Nah. I don't know, people. There's two of them in there that's double laid, which could be sometimes a new queen when she comes back, she'll double lay a couple cells trying to get her groove down. I don't see her on here, but. But we got uh, pollen and nectar on this frame with a little bit of honey on the top. So let me look back through here again, see if we see our queen. That's the only real way to tell I'm going to roll the dice and say we've got a queen in here, but I'm not a thousand percent sure on that since I haven't seen her. But we got an old chewed out queen cell. And a lot of these eggs are single laid. Like I said, we got a few that are double laid. With no more bees on here than they are, or is, I would think I would be able to find her, but I don't really see her right this minute. So as we work our way back over here to put this frame or the hive back together, we'll see if we can't find her. Yep, I'm not seeing her. Some queens, when you smoke the hive, they'll run. I've got a lot of bees on the outside edges of the box. So, she might be a running queen. We're going to put this back together and we'll do a wrap up. Alrighty then, I think that hive's got a queen in it. I'm not 100% sure on it, but uh, I don't think it's a laying worker. If it was a laying worker, they would be uh, more cells with, you know, three and four eggs laid in it. I only seen two cells with uh, that were double laid. So I'm gonna say they've got a queen. Sometimes you get hives where the state birds are out this afternoon, we fizzing wrap this up. Sometimes when you got a new queen like that, 
when you smoke the hive, she'll just go crazy and go running all over the place. And sometimes she'll get on the actual hive body instead of staying on the frame. So I'm gonna go with that. We'll check it again in a couple more days. The only thing that's got me kind of questioning whether she's in there or not is the fact that uh, they were making those little queen cells uh, on the frame. So I'm not 100% sure on that. So we're in, we're not real sure. I don't, I don't think they're queenless. I think they've got a queen. We'll go with that and we'll do an update on that, that later on. Uh, so if you got any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the uh, bell over there. So you'll get notifications when the uh, new videos come out. I think 87% of the people that view the videos are not subscribers. I would like to get that lower down in my my subscriber view count on up if y'all help me out with that. I do appreciate that. Uh, and as always, we'll see y'all in the next one. Over here are some videos that I also think you would like. So go ahead and click on one of them and continue watching. I do appreciate y'all watching. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.